Hey church, thanks for joining us today. What a brilliant time we're having in our 21 days of prayer and fasting. So many great opportunities to gather and to pray. My name's Sarah Reid and I am the children's pastor at our Manchester campus. And I've got a few thoughts for us to uh, think about today uh, and some prayer points for us to pray over our amazing, audacious kids in every campus. So today's thought is around the verse in Hebrews 13, verse 9. And it says, Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today and forever. I absolutely love this verse. Absolutely love it. I'm sure we've heard, and maybe we've said it ourselves, uh, perhaps from those a little bit older than us, repeat the famous words, when I was your age, we didn't have such a thing. Uh, or perhaps you've said it yourself. Uh, they can reflect back on a year, many years gone by and, you know, of what, how different uh, life was. So many areas of society change so fast, whether it's fashion, uh, internet speed, online TV, streaming, prices of fuel, so many th things uh, change, seem so fast, uh, and things move on. So, you know, things that were as they were three, five, ten years ago can often seem a distant memory. My encouragement to you today is that this isn't the case for Jesus. Who the Bible says he is, is still exactly who he is today. He doesn't go out of fashion. He doesn't become irrelevant or untrue. There's a few things in the Bible that I just want to highlight. The yesterday of the yesterday, today and forever. In Deuteronomy 31 verse 6, it reminds us, He will never leave us. Whatever we face this day, be sure that God is by our side. Whatever you face today, whether it's a storm or whether it's a mountaintop, be sure that God is by your side. And whatever may come tomorrow, be sure that you know that he will be with you. His word is true today. In Matthew 25 uh, verses 14 to 30 is the parable of the talents. And I love this parable because it reminds us that God has given to each one of us gifts and talents. Church, let us use the gifts that he has given to us. Today, be confident that he has created you with gifts and talents to use. Tomorrow, continue to use and grow and develop the amazing gifts and talents he's given to you. And wouldn't it be wonderful if our kids grew up just taking a hold of what God has gifted them with and that they use them and grow them for the glory of his kingdom. A few prayer points that I want us to look over today and really pray, press in with and pray over our children. The first one is I want to um, just to pray that our kids would walk in confidence, that fear would not grip them, but they would be confident in who their God is, the God that our Bibles tell us he is, who they've experienced, that they know who he is. <clears throat> and whatever may be coming their way, that they would know that their God is with them. The second thing I'd like us to pray over as our kids approach their SATs or the exams that they take in year six before high school, that they would have the best attitudes, that they would do their best and that they would know the truth and the power of Jeremiah 29, 11, that God has got them, God's got a plan for their life. So as long as they show up and do their best, God has got them and he has a future for them. And the third thing I want us to pray over today is for where um, there's children in broken families, where there is no peace, that they would be reminded of God's word, that they would know his truth and that he is the same yesterday, today and forever. Church, I'm believing that we're going to have an army of resilient kids who rise up, who know who God is, that whatever life may throw at them, good, bad and ugly, that they would be confident of their saviour and that they would know he is the same yesterday, today and forever. Thanks for praying for our children today. They are dynamite. They are going to do great things for the kingdom. Have a great day, church.